Connie. I am back with you with another mukbang video and I will do these once a week I do believe um, maybe on Thursdays I, I don't really know I am I've done two so far this is my third one and I am back with you it's lunchtime and I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat my favorite lunchtime snack uh, it is right here Toquitos and these this flavor here is the um, taco seasoned beef and cheese it's extra crunchy uh, in a crispy seasoned shell there's 21 of them in here and that's it all I do is Put them in the oven. I preheat my oven at 400 degrees. Put these in for 13 minutes. Put them on a baking sheet. Put them in for 13 minutes and they come out. These are just a... These are the way I like them. They're nice and crunchy. So you can see in there the, the meat and the cheese. And they're just in a shell that is wrapped up. Oh my gosh. And then I eat them with ranch dressing. I just dunk them in ranch dressing. Let's take a bite. They're awful hot. Mm. So good. So, so good. As you can tell, I eat very healthily. I cleaned up behind me a little bit. This over here all of this mess is my turntable thing that goes around so it's all my spices are, are on there my salt and pepper my spices I've got some pens on there um, my bathroom light is on I forgot to shut it off I just washed a bunch of makeup brushes so tell me ha so tell me guys do you have a set schedule for washing your makeup brushes? Do you have a routine that you use for washing your makeup brushes? All I do is I've got a bar of ivory soap because it's nice and gentle. I've got a little round deal with stuff on it, you know, to rub my brushes in. So I rub it get my brush wet, rub it in the ivory soap, um, rub it in the ivory soap, and my towel, and, uh, then rub it on that little, little deal that I got and put them on a towel to dry. They're right behind me on this pink towel. You can see the pink. That's where my brushes are. I don't wash a ton. I use the same brushes all the time. I use the same blush brush, the Real Techniques blush brush, all the time. I use the same highlighter brush which is the, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's the gold tipped one of Real Techniques. I use that for my highlighter, all the, always, those two brushes, always. Then I use um, the same two blending brushes all the time for my, my uh, blending. And I need to get more. I mean, I have a lot of brushes, but my favorites I would really like to have doubles of. I would love to have a complete set of the Real Techniques brushes. I would like to have, a, if nothing else, a, another blush brush and a complete eye set for the, the uh, brushes. 
at least. I would love to have a couple more blending brushes, actually good ones. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my um, video that I did using the Real Techniques, no, Real Techniques, the ABH Modern Renaissance palette in reds. Bunch of you said that I needed to blend more. Very true. I, I don't want to choke because I'm talking. I am um, 60 years old. In two weeks, I'll be 61. But I am a novice at this stuff. I mean, I always, forever and ever, I didn't wear makeup for years. But when I was younger and going out, it was like a blue eyeshadow on my lid and uh, whiter on on top. You know, I do two eyeshadows is all, ever. And a, if I had somebody to help me with my eyeliner, I would do that because I could never get it thin enough for my liking. And that's when I didn't have the hooded <laughs> so bad, but... Um, I'm really a, a quite a novice at all this pretty makeup that they do now with the um, the three, four, five shades of eyeshadow. What I, what I normally do is use three. I use one for a base, one for my lid, and one for my transition. But now I'm going to start trying to use one in my get ready with me anyway. Use one on the outer V and blend it up. I uh, had somebody say that they think of this as eating lunch with me. I hope some of you take it that way. It, whatever works. A couple of you say you didn't understand it or you didn't like it. Just don't watch them. I'll have mukbang in the, in the title. You don't, you know, those ones there just skip on by. But I hope that you don't leave over this. I really do. And several of you say that you're not going anywhere. I love you to death. Thank you so much. And I'm getting really used to this. Um, to this. Uh, laptop camera. Besides. I don't know where to look. I have a hard time looking. I'm, I think right now I'm looking where I'm supposed to be looking. But before I was just looking at myself and talk like I was talking to myself. So I was, it's like I'm looking down all the time. Let me eat one more. If you don't like spicy, you won't like these. Because right now my mouth is burning a little bit. But I really wanted something with flavor. And I love tacos, so... And these remind me of tacos. So that's why I get these. I don't like them. I wouldn't like them any hotter than this, though. I do like to taste my food. And these have an awesome flavor. If you like a little bit spicy. Let's see. What else can we talk about? driving me nuts not to have any money. I mean, I got some unemployment. That's not even enough to pay for my rent. Not even near. I'm getting some food stamps, which have helped me tremendously. It's funny how just even getting food stamps will help, but it doesn't help with your rent and landlords being pissed off at you. You know what I mean? And she is pissed. I think if I'm in this boat next month, I'll probably get an eviction notice again. I have tried and tried to find rent assistance in this town. It is 
next to impossible to get subsidized house, housing in this town to get low-income housing. We have plenty of low-income housing homes, but we also have a high number of people on welfare and a high number of um, Native American people that live in this town. Nothing wrong with being Native American. Don't get me wrong. We just have a very high number of Native Americans. And we have a, a high number of unwed mothers or, or folks that are out of work and need the sub, or have low income jobs, need the subsidized housing. Please don't get me wrong there. I'm not against any race or creed or whatever. I'm just stating a fact. We have an exorbitant amount of bars in this town also. Every block it seems like there's a bar. So we have a high amount of alcoholism in this town also. I, working just a couple of days in the lawyer's office, and this is a public defender's office, so it's very busy. I couldn't believe how many phone calls we would get in a day from the county jail calling, you know, and we'd have to accept them. And uh, how looking through the files, what a huge problem meth is in this town. It's horrible. Although, I could probably get a prescription for pot because I have glaucoma. It's not so bad yet, though, that I would want to have to do the drugs. And it used to give me headaches so bad, so I don't know. Still did it. Just like I'm allergic to beer and I used to drink beer all the time. I just lived with the headache that I had. Okay guys, that is it for my mukbang video today. I know I only ate two, but I don't wanna have, you know, a long video. And this is already 15 minutes and we've chatted and this is kind of, I just eat, I forget I'm eating. The first one I did, I was so uncomfortable. Well, you can probably tell I was uncomfortable. I still am a little bit uncomfortable eating in front of you guys. But I'm going to do it once a week. Um, I'll try to have something different every time. Please no hate. Don't leave. Just skip on by this video. I'm going to do it once a week. So I will talk to you guys very soon. I, if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. Don't give me a thumbs down because you don't like it. I mean, you know, just pass it on by. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.